Walt Disney's daughters, Diane and Sharon, were reading the Mary Poppins books. Walt discovered them through that and said, wait, it's a magical nanny, she lives in England, you know, he was an Anglophile, he loved those stories. This seemed perfect for an animated movie. Walt and his brother Roy began discussions with P.L. Travers in 1944, beginning a lengthy process to take her beloved character from the written page to Disney's silver screen. Mrs. Travers was not an easy person to, uh, to convince uh, of what we were trying to do. She felt that we were like attacking her, her books and uh, we were not, we were just sort of using her wonderful, wonderful material to s tell a story. But then she comes to her senses and agrees to let the movie actually get made. The books are of course set in the 30s. It was an idea at the Disney Studios and from Richard and Robert Sherman to set it in 1910. It was a time of greater innocence, it predates World War I, and it's also more fun from a musical perspective for the music they could play with. So one of the first songs we wrote was, Oh, it's a jolly holiday with Mary. Mary makes your heart so light. When the day is gray and ordinary, Mary makes the sun shine bright. That was the style, that wonderful, jaunty English musical style. And when Walt heard that, he really liked it. He knew what we were going for then. At the world premiere in Hollywood in 1964, the audience gave the film a standing ovation with thunderous applause. Everyone knew that a classic film had been born. The movie goes on to be nominated for Oscars. It wins its Oscars. It is a triumph for Walt. It's a triumph for everybody in the cast and probably becomes the most beloved movie made by the Walt Disney Company. <laughs>